Hi everybody, I have a new favorite pouring medium. It's Oetrol Easy Flow. It's made in France. I think maybe the people in France are laughing at us right now because they've been using this for a while and it's just now more recently available in the USA. This is a paint conditioner so it's in the same family as Floetrol by Flood which is made in the US. I like this better. I've tried Floetrol, I, you know, glue, Liquitex. There's all kinds of pouring mediums out there. It's, they can be hard to obtain. The prices are too high on some of them. I really like this. I've been using this for the past couple of weeks, trying it out on several different paintings. And I'm gonna tell you several reasons why I like this. The first reason, there's hardly any smell. I can smell a little bit some of these other things, they really will knock you down when you smell them. Not much smell. It's, it's got a real creamy consistency. Uh, I've used Floetrol a little bit. It's kind of thin. This is a little bit thicker. It pours out really nicely. Okay, this is what I got going today. I'm going to do a dirty pour, and it's going to be on this 12 by 12 canvas. But before I start mixing up my dirty pour, I've had a lot of people ask me about paint mixing ratios and what I usually say is one part paint three parts pouring medium a few drops of water and a few drops of silicone however I usually end up with more pouring medium than what I am saying here because when you do that you come up with a partial cup and you think you know I need a little more of this color and so I ended up adding more pouring medium. Doesn't matter whatever kind of pouring medium you're using, this is my new favorite. And you're just using a few drops of water to thin it down where it looks about like this. And then of course I have a few drops of silicone in each color because those help create the cells. So what I'm gonna do now is I have these little five ounce cups mixed of, of colors and I have a 10 ounce cup. I'm gonna create a dirty pour right now. No particular order, but I'm going to just use all my paint here. Some green. Some gold. I'm just going for it here. Now one thing I get concerned about is when I mix purple and green. I, I tend to avoid that because if you mix those two together, if you blend those two together, they, they don't make a pretty color. But I've been thinking about using green with purple and I wanna try it because you gotta have some courage right now, sometimes. So here goes the purple and green and we'll hope for the best. There's my colors and then I always have white on standby. I find white always helps So I'm going to add some white there. We've got a pretty full 10 ounce cup. Okay, you can see I have a full dirty pour here. And before I pour it, I want to point out the fact that there's some really nice cells already starting. It's always nice when you see your, your dirty pour looking good before you pour it. And this Easy Flow has been really good at helping create cells. So we're going to prove it today. I'm going to pour this right now. Kind of doing a semi-ribbon kind of pour. Get some stripes going. You can see the cells start popping up right away. Every, every painting I've done with this Easy Flow has done this right away. It's been very successful. Now I'm going to tilt just to get some coverage. Just going to go kind of slow. Now I'm going to head for the corner so we get some nice coverage. There's something about this easy flow that really allows these cells to come through. The other things I've tried and I've used many pouring mediums, this one has been the most consistent. I really like it. So if you're having trouble creating cells, this may be the ticket for you.
I'm going to use up this, this, what I have left here. Get that going, and I'm going for that last corner to get some coverage. And look at that. Very nice. So my green and purple idea turned out to be a success. They stayed separate. They look nice next to each other. This Easy Flow is really good stuff to work with. I'm really excited about using it. I'm going to be using this from now on. I really like it. Now, another on another point, this Easy Flow, it dries matte just like Floetrol does, but it doesn't matter because I use... As a final coat, I used this Minwax Polycrylic. I used the gloss. It'll make any painting glossy. You just have to give it, you know, give it several days to dry. You don't want to do this right away. And I let my paintings dry slowly over a few days. I cover them up. And I, the other thing I found that this does not crack, this Easy Flow, none of the paintings I that I painted with have cracked upon drying so I'm very excited about this product and I have a link to it in the description below I hope you'll check it out get it while it's hot and here it is Ovatrol Easy Flow I'm excited about it thanks to Sophie in Miami for telling me about this product I have a Patreon page if you want to join us there we talk about lots of things more pouring ideas other things that I don't cover in my YouTube videos I have paintings for sale in my Etsy store. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I hope you'll do that now. And I appreciate you watching. Anyway, give Easy Flow a try. Thanks.